Hello YouTube and welcome to Destination Lego and welcome to an Ultra Agents review. So today we have set 70162 and this is Inferno Interception. The set is for ages, recommended ages 8 to 14, comes with a piece count of 313 pieces. It currently retails here in the UK for £24.99. That's from the Lego store or the Lego store online. And it retails in the United States for $29.99. Okay, so let's take our first look at this set now. Okay, so there is the set itself. As you can see, it comes with the convertible hover car. Um, and obviously the two mini figures there, which are Inferno and Agent Solomon Blaze. So let's take a closer look at the mini figures first. So first up we have Agent Solomon Blaze. And as you can see, he comes with the newer style blaster. We've seen these in some of the battle packs on some of the Summer 2014 Star Wars wave of sets, but certainly not in white. So for those that aren't aware of these new blaster type weapons, you can see down there on this one it's got an orange stud in it and these are actually, um, you can fire these and you have this little trigger mechanism there and I'm going to try and do this one handed, we just simply push down on this and as you can see that's gone um, and it does shoot out very fast actually, the little mechanism there pushes out that little stud. Okay, so. There is the stud, just a normal standard stud, and we just push that back in to that blaster there like so. So just taking a closer look at Agent Solomon Blaze here, you can see he's got some print into the front of the torso and down into his right leg. We spin him round, we can see there's some minor printing detail to the rear of the torso there. He does come with a dual sided face. You can see he has the grey hairpiece. Let's remove that for a second. So there we can see the one side and there is the other side. Okay. So next up we have Inferno and as you can see he has got a lot going on. So first up let's remove him from his hoverboard here. Let's just take a look at that hoverboard. So like I said, there is a lot going on. So Inferno comes with this flaming hoverboard. You can see there at the rear, we've got the exhaust and we've got the flames shooting out of the back of that. But yeah, pretty cool. So let's have a look at Inferno himself. We just bring him into shot. So again, here's Inferno and he too has got a lot going on. So first off, where do we start? So he has um, this fire head, translucent fire head. I'll remove that in a second. He's got fire armor, um, fuel tank at the rear there. We can obviously see the fuel tank um, around the rear there. Um, and obviously these flame pieces coming out and in both hands he's holding obviously some dynamite. So let's just remove this dynamite so we can Try to get a better look. Okay, so there, just spinning that around again. We've got those flame pieces. See the fuel tanks on the rear. We remove this translucent piece from the head. Single sided print to the face on this particular minifigure. So I'm just going to remove the fuel tank, and that just simply clips into place like so. Okay, I'm going to remove the head if we can. So I can take some of this armour off so we can have a look at the printing. It's stuck on there pretty well. In fact that's all one piece. So to get this off, it should still come off. That is on there very, very well. There we go. So you can see that really does fit on there very tightly. Okay, so now we can uh, we'll just put his head back on there. And now you get to see, obviously, let's put those bits to one side for a second. Just zoom this in a little bit more. Okay, 
hopefully you can see some of that printing detail now. I must say there is some pretty cool printing um, to this minifigure. So there's the front of him. And round to the rear, there's obviously some printing to the rear of the torso too. And he appears to have light bluish grey arms and obviously the red hands there. Okay, so let's just put his armoury and jetpack and flames and all the other accessories back onto him. So there we go, there is Inferno back on his flaming hoverboard. Um, obviously he does look extremely fearsome. Um, and like I said, he's got a lot going on with the flames and the dynamite and the jetpack, etc. Okay, so next up we have the convertible hover car. So let's take a 360 view of this first. Okay, there we go. So let's look at some of the detailing now. If we look at the front, this does come with the dual laser cannons there, detailing. They're not actually doing anything, but that's just part of the detailing. You can see these awesome um, design wheels. See on the front of the vehicle, they do have a dual purpose, but we will uh, obviously look at that in a minute. More laser cannons there underneath. We do have stickers on this set, so this is a sticker here. There is also a sticker on the top of the cockpit there. And if we look down the side here, a sticker there, and then the same on the other side here is also a sticker. Again, carrying around, just looking at some of the detailing. Um, also, some pretty cool, chunky looking wheels with these cool translucent um, blue like hub pieces to the to the wheels there. Uh, looking around to the rear, this is um, Technic piece here, which um, is a function which I will show you in a second. You can see here the end of um, flip fire missiles, but again I will show you those in a minute operating. Just round to the other side, which is the same as um, obviously the other side which I just showed you. So. Next up we have a cockpit area here, which does just simply open up like so. If I turn this over now, you can see inside now, and you can see there, there is a control panel. That is a printed brick. Little seating area there, and again, that has a function to it, again, which I will show you in a second when we get the minifigure in the car. Close that copper area back up. So, next function I would like to show you is the flick fire missiles, and they are hidden away in the rear here. So, if I just zoom in there, this piece here does actually come up like so. You can see there that is maneuverable, and there obviously we get to see the flick fire missiles. So, as always, to fire these, we just simply push down. And you should see one release. And there we go, there's that first one. If I just zoom out a little bit more, and you get to see that fire a little further there. So you may see this bounce off my wall and come back. We will see. Oh, no, that wasn't up enough there. Obviously, it has to be clear. So, again, fire. Yeah, hopefully, you did see that fire off there. Okay, so I've just returned those back in there now. And again, you can see them from that angle. Now you can see the uh, obviously the ends of the flick fire missiles there. And again, we just simply push that um, back down in position. So pretty cool little flick fire missile missile functions there. So this is obviously also a um, it's a convertible hover car. Um, so how we do that is quite simply: these wheels at the front can turn out like so. And if you see me do that one. Turn that out and the rear wheels, if I take it round there, zoom in a little bit more so we can see this. And again, these fold in. So there's that one there folding in. If I just push that one down, you can see that now pushed down. So that now gives us the hover car, um, obviously, look of this particular vehicle. So pretty cool um, little feature, obviously. And it, can still be moved um, along here. We do have some of these pieces here, but you can see there it does still move along really easy, and you 
you see there, hopefully the rear wheels are still do spin. So very, very cool little function. Okay, so the final piece I want to show you really, I mentioned that this Technic piece back here. So this is actually for an ejector seat. I'm just going to show you without the minifigure in it first. So this piece here, if you just watch this, and I will push this piece in. And there you can see that now there are some Technic pieces here. And when I pull that, you can see pushing and pulling. You can see that in there moving, obviously push it in. And then that's going to push this plate up. So now we get to see with the agent inside, Agent Solomon Blaze. So we'll just open the cockpit area up and again I'm going to push this Technic piece at the back and hopefully this will work and you will see the ejector seat work. So here we go. Obviously it didn't work particularly well then and it does stick in there sometimes I have to say. So if you're expecting this to fly out a long way you will be disappointed because um, I certainly haven't been able to get it to do that so far. So let's try it. Again, just put that piece back in and give it another push. Yeah, and again, um, a similar reaction. Okay, one final time to see if I can get this to fly a bit more. No, not going to do it. He's not going to play. So it does go in there quite tight. So um, commendable for coming up with the function, but the actual functionality of it isn't particularly brilliant. I did get him to fly out once, but I don't know. It's probably going to be luck more than anything. Okay, so there we go. There's my review of this set complete. And this is, again, to recap, set 70162. And this is Inferno Interception from the LEGO Ultra Agents range. So my opinions on the set. It's got some cool um, functions on it. Um, I think the hover car does look good. And obviously Inferno, with all those accessories, does look pretty fierce and um, obviously mean. Um, the one thing that was disappointing for me was, as you would have seen, the ejector seat. Like I said, a nice idea, um, but it doesn't actually work particularly well. Um, but anyway, I think, fun little set. It's the first one out of this range, Alter Agent, so I will obviously see what I think of the other sets. But I think potentially quite good, obviously, for the younger kids, um, for obviously playability, etc. Um, this is obviously ages 8 to 14. So if you did enjoy this review, please go ahead and give it that thumbs up for me. Any comments, questions, feedbacks, um, leave down in the comment sections. Let me know what you think of the Ultra Agents um, theme. If it's something you are looking forward to, if you're going to buy, if indeed you bought it already, what you think um, of this set and some of the other sets. I'll be uh, obviously interested to hear from you guys too. And if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel, Destination Lego. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers!